Now, as former finance minister and NDC presidential aspirant Dr. Kobna Dufour brings his tour of the northern region to an end today, some NPP delegates in the Kumbungu district have vowed to vote for him. According to them, Dr. Dufour has a proven track record that he can leverage on his on it to win the hearts of many Ghanaians as well as to change the current economic challenges of the country in a short period. The Kumbungu delegate said this when Dr. Dufour took his campaign tour to the constituency. Some of them interacted with our Northern Regional Correspondent, Lowa Nash. Some of the delegates who spoke during the campaign tour in the Kubungu constituency noted that when Dr. Kabna Dufour is given the nod to lead the NDC in the 2024 general election, he can leverage Ghanaians from the current economic hardships that has plagued the country. Some of the delegates spoke to the news team. Actually, you know I'm going in for Dr. Kabna Dufour. Honestly, I will see he is the right candidate at this particular right time that we are. The reason why I said uh, I'm going in for Dr. Corbina Dufour is that, you know, the contest is like a football match. When you get a particular captain to play a football match for you, at the end of the day, if he has been playing so well that you have been winning all the time, then it comes to a time that... When you put in that captain to play for you, you lost the match. This tells you that you have to change a particular captain. Dr. Kobnado Four also took the opportunity to introduce his hunter project to the delegates. The gap between the government and the cadres and the elders who formed the party for us. What were some of his concerns? That after the elections, they neglect the grassroots. How do you change it? To help the grassroots, therefore, I brought about the Ahunto project. I have been told that there are a lot of farmers here. Farmers, you know, this government, the farming or the agricultural sector will see a special treatment. You'll be encouraged, you'll be supported to produce for us to consume, and we will not depend on imported food. Now, joining us for further discussions on this is the campaign spokesperson for Dr. Kobnal Dufour, which is in the person of Edem Asinyo. Good morning and welcome, Edem. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Now, first of all, tell me, how has the reception been in the northern region? Um, the reception has been very, very warm and overwhelming. We have been welcomed very well, but our dog has been welcomed very well by the people of the northern region. We are currently in the northeastern region, and we are headed to Chilpon currently. This morning, we paid a courtesy call on the overlord of the monthly kingdom. And after that, we had to ride to Chilpon to interact with the delegates there. All right, sir. Then. Now, former President John Dramani Mahama, however, believes none of his contenders has what it takes to lead the NDC into the 2024 elections. What is your reaction on this statement? Thank you very much. Um, respectfully, the former president's um, claim on his campaign tour is baseless. Why do I say so? Um, I hope you have some time to, for me to walk you through the former president's history, electoral history of the new patriotic party. We realize, I mean, it's a fact that the former president is the luckiest president we've ever had, or the luckiest politician we've ever had in this country. He's been an assembly member, he's been a member of parliament, he's been a deputy minister, he's been a minister, a vice president, and finally he's been a president. In 2012, when the late prophet Amel died, the NDC um, allowed or blessed the former president to become the leader of the party without any internal contest point to the fact that he did not struggle even to the leader of the party at the time. The first electoral victory that the MPP was in 2012. That resulted at the Supreme Court with the result of 5-4, um, which gave the um, former president the presidency. Let's fast forward to his electoral um, defeat to the MPP in 2016. It's important to note that in 2016, he was the head of state. He had every resources and power vested in him to lead the MPP. Yet the MPP that he claims was afraid of him defeated him in the most embarrassing way. The former president lost to the MPP, close to one million votes. It has never happened in electoral history in this country. It's the same MPP that is that. It's important.
important note in that election, the former president, as the leader of the party, was even unable to collate his own presidential results um, as we thought. Come to 2020, NDC took a chance on the former president when, after the late, uh, sorry, Mr. Postala B and Sly, the rest of co contested him. The former president became the leader of the party in 2020 and went to the same battle with the new patriotic party. He lost at the first round of that election. We were close to 500,000 votes. He's not even been able to take this new patriotic party to a second round, many elections he's competed with. So what's the basis for them to be afraid of him? Statistically, or looking at the data, there is no basis that the NPP can be afraid of the former president. So I would say it's just a political talk and it's allowed within this political season. We are focused on talking to the grassroots, engaging them, telling them, or giving them hope with the hope and prayer that come May 13, they would invest their power in Dr. Kamna Dupont to be the new face of the party, be able to lead us into that victory land come 2025. Uh, I love the spirit there, Adam. But you are ending the tour in the northern region today. What is next for the campaign team? We are not ending the tour. Um, we would end the tour in the Savannah region on Sunday, God willing. So after that, we come back to Accra and move to this region. But let me quickly add that the former president claims that um, people or, or, non, or new patriotic party members are going around asking for new faith. It's important to note that, again, that, be, that claim is baseless and has no leg. Um, that claim, we should realize, the economic, inter economic Intelligence Unit, a research group in London, they have been forecasting our elections since 1992, and they've always gotten it right. They have forecasted the 2024 election, and they've said, as part of the research that they found, that if the NDC would, in, in fact, increase its chances or brighten its chances in the 2024 election should we have a new experience and capable, capable face like that of Dr. Kabman before. And I believe that, um, or they believe that that particular move, if the NDC should do, will revitalize the party base and will make us win the 2024 election without any stress at all. Of course, all right, um, Adam, thank you very you much for your you. time. Thank you. All right, that is Adam, who is a campaign spokesperson for Dr. Kobna Dufour's team. He is a flag bearer hopeful of the NDC.